dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. On today's dual review, it's misery. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, today is the 30th of August and we're taking a look at the movie Misery. That's right, this movie came out in 1990, it's based off of the book by Stephen King and so many of our, the movies from that era were done by... Yeah, there was a lot of Stephen King movies around that time is what I'm saying. And series, and yeah. Yes, yes, uh, and this was directed by Rob Reiner who's done thousands and thousands of things. Uh, the Prince's Bride was one of my favorites, uh, I'm sure everyone's favorites. Uh, it was done by Castle Rock Entertainment and uh, what was the other one, Nelson Entertainment. Uh, and basically, basically the plot is you have a very good novelist, uh, what's his name, um, Paul Sheldon, who is en route from Colorado to California, but gets stuck in a snowstorm somewhere, and uh, he suffers, he's in an accident, he suffers uh, damage to his legs and his shoulder, and this nurse takes him into her home, her name is uh, uh, Annie w Wilkes, what, Wilkes? Annie yeah. Wilkes. Hi. Annie Wilkes, uh, played by Kathy Bates. And she takes care of him, finds out that he she, he's uh, 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 Paul Sheldon, the uh, the writer, says that she loves him, and then she becomes a crazed super fan who essentially uh, 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 kidnaps him. He yeah. Keeps him imprisoned in her house. Sheldon is James Caan. Yes. You didn't James mention that. God! Yeah, James Caan, who's done thousands and thousands of things. Uh, uh, Godfather, uh, Elf. Um, <laughs> Those Mickey, are the two. Mil yeah, the, the, the... Mickey, Blue Eyes. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he, no, he, no, Godfather and Elf. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the bookends of his career. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Thousands, hundreds, hundreds in roles, hundreds and hundreds yeah. of roles. Okay. So, so that's the premise. Uh, he's stuck in the he's stuck in the cabin with the crazy chick, and he's trying to get out, and that's pretty much it. Go ahead. Yeah. So uh, Sheldon has you know he's very well established. He's created this you know. Um, Universe, uh, I forget what her name is, but the character in the book has misery. Yeah, yeah, misery part of her something, name. misery. Mary, misery. I don't no, it was what it misery was. was her first name and her last name. Uh, what is it? So anyway, it's a very endearing book, but you know, it's it's sad and whatever. And and um, Annie gets really into this universe and really loves these books. So I'm sure that Stephen King probably had some experience that kind of clicked this in his head for him, and then he just kind of took it to this inevitable Stephen King conclusion, you know, kind of thing. And this is this is a really great movie. I often forget about it when I'm thinking of Stephen King movies. Um, you know, I love like Green Mile and uh, Shawshank Redemption. You know, I love those movies. Stand by Me, Shining. Uh, yeah, and and this one sometimes get gets left out, but I think this is one of my favorites. Uh, I really do love this. And I think it holds up very well. Kathy Bates. Um, uh, the reason this came to my attention is because I saw her in another film. We haven't seen her in a little while. No, we haven't. But she really had a rash of great movies, like Fried Green Tomatoes and stuff, and and um, this is one of her finest roles. And it's it's creepy, um, but the whole beginning of it, you know, I mean, because most people know Misery, and they know kind of the central thing that happens to James Caan's character, which I guess I won't spoil just in case you haven't seen it. Um, but but they, even though you know that's coming. You're still like, oh well, she seems all right in some ways, and then you're kind of just wondering when the you know the shit's gonna hit the fan, and and it's just kind of this fun little reveal, and, you know, keeps snowballing and getting worse and worse for Sheldon's character, and and uh, it's just it is a lot of fun. It's a lot of creepy, yeah, you know, fun, and it's not nearly as bad as it used to be because used to be it'd be like it was like uh, you want to watch Misery, and people, are like, oh, I don't know, should we? You know, kind of thing. And now it's it's not really that big of a yeah, deal. Yeah, you want to watch but, it? Yeah, sure, go ahead. But 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 it, it it is still. I think it holds a lot of its punch, and I really do enjoy it. And it's actually a movie, you know, a horror film that that my wife likes to watch. And she I think it's more of a really, thriller, but yeah, yeah, right. Now it's more of a thriller. Back then it was like Silence of the Lambs and Misery. You know, yeah, what I mean? yeah. So, Things that you wouldn't consider horror movies is more so thrillers right. than they're horror movies. Yeah, you're right. It's it's very well done. It's very well directed, acted. Um, you know, uh, did you mention that Bates got rewards for this? Yeah, Bates got awards. In fact, um, and Stephen. She deserved them. Yeah, yeah. Stephen King actually started writing roles specifically for her. In fact, um, when she said that she was interested in doing the stand, he rewrote the lead character, who was a male role, into a female role specifically for her. I mean, he just he just loved her as. 
uh, 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 and Annie Wilkes, and uh, just wanted to put her in everything that he was doing. So I, I think he had, yeah, I think he had a crush on her actually, because I mean, he was just like Kathy Bates. Ah! Well, she she manages to be, you know, somewhat uh, uh, theatrical and yet very grounded and believable. Right. And you know, she does this kind of crazy thing, but you know, well enough. I, I yeah, I really did enjoy this performance, and it's a small enough kind of plot, really. Yeah. Because it's really just kind of like this abduction. And this love interest gone wrong kind of thing. Right. So you're just kind of watching this simple story on on uh, you know un, unfold. And they really are the so. only two characters. You have you have uh, pretty much uh, yeah the novelist and the crazy chick. So and, and so you know you get attached to or I don't know if attached is the right word, but you know the surroundings. You kind of you know you're right there with him. You're yes. right with Sheldon, and that's pretty much your world is right there. And, mercy. and then every once in a while he'll, he'll expand that world a little bit. And you're left wondering, you know, what does that mean? You know, like, is he going to get out of here? You know, what's going on? What's going to happen next? Um, so, so it is a very pleasant watch, even when you know what's what's going to happen. Like every major beat, I still think it's done well enough that it's very enjoyable. So I, I I've watched this movie several times, and I still want to see it again. So, so I, I can't really highly recommend it. You know, it, it's it, it's pretty high on on my list. Yes, if you if you if you're a fan of movies, you need to watch this movie because this does. This does suspense and thrill so well. I mean, this is this is one of the best movies uh, in that genre, I think, because it, really, it's it's just the, again two characters, and that's it. That's all you need is two characters and a cabin, and that makes a perfect movie. Uh, and this is proof. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm hearing you praise it so highly it makes me give pause, but I can't really figure out why. I don't know why. But I, again, I think it holds up really well. So yeah, I, I think I think it's a wonderful movie. I think it's a great movie. Uh, granted, I haven't seen it in a, in a pretty long time, but I still remember it like almost frame by frame in my head. I just would like to see it uh, uh, in actuality. So there you go. It, this is another classic that you should yes. not miss if you love films. If you're you know not old enough to have watched it back in the day, 1990, uh, it's still definitely worth a watch. It's not one of those films that it's like. Oh well, if you're feeling '80s, you should watch this. You no. know what I mean? This is it stands up. Yes, it's it's, it's very fun. All right, guys, I think that's it. Uh, another one that we love so much, it's hard to you know pick it apart to find things to say about it other than go watch it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, follow our great playlists. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has, and please leave comments. We love comments, and you can help support us by buying our wares at SpiderWolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a car game, art print shirts, stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, I will chat with you all day. We're also blogging. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, little bits of the world that I've created for 10 plus years. Uh, take a look. If you like it, share it. Support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com, where I have short stories and poetry. So if you're interested, check that out. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye. It's misery. Yes. Oh, I think you shut my nose away. I think so too. Yes. Next time it's Robot Chickens DC Special. On today's new review, it's misery. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Please let me leave the studio. <laughs> I like I like that you always get into like char the character of the thing that we're reviewing, you know, like that's that's it's my pathetic attempt at being funny. But uh, well, it doesn't I, always work out. You always kind of add the uh, add the tone of yeah, yeah, it's very nice. It lets it lets the the viewer know what they're in for. for <laughs> or the opposite, because sometimes I you know like ah zombie. Yeah, that's true. <laughs>